how can we create attribute control charts in Excel, and specifically a p-chart? Uh, so in order to create a p-chart, we need to collect some initial samples of data. So uh, if you recall, we need to collect a large sample every uh, time unit, let's say every day in this example, uh, and the sample size in my example is 1,000 units. So what I'm saying is I test 1,000 units produced or 1,000 uh, services that occurred, and I count the number of defective units among those 1,000. So let's say I collected here a sample of right, 10 over 10 days. I had one defect on day one, one defect on day two, three defects, five defects, and so on on the following days. I have 10 values. So the first thing we need to calculate is percentage or proportion of defects. So I need to calculate this as equal to number of defects divided by sample size. And I press F4 here to fix the reference to sample size so that when I copy it down later on, it does not change. So of course, this is going to be 0 0.001. Uh, and uh, I'm going to now copy it down there. And you'll see every time it is dividing by 1,000 whatever the number uh, of defects on the particular day was. Now, the next thing I need to calculate is the average of those p-values in order to have the central uh, line on the control chart. So I will calculate this as average of the p-values. I only calculate it once, so I'm not going to um, fix any uh, references here. And I'll add just one more digit to show you that the value is, or maybe two more, the value is 0 0.00220. And I will also calculate the estimation of the standard deviation, which is square root of p bar multiplied by 1 minus p bar and divided by sample size, 1,000. Again, I'm not going to fix any references here because this will be calculated just once, right? And this is the value. Um, we can keep it as is. And now I'm ready to calculate the upper control limit. If you recall, this is the mean plus three times standard deviation uh, sigma hat or estimation of standard deviation. And the lower control limit uh, is, um, again, the mean but minus three times uh, standard deviation. However, if that's negative, right, I should change it to zero. I'm going to put a general, sorry, general formula here, uh, make this maximum of zero and this calculation, and that will give me zero in this case when this becomes negative, right? So when this value is negative. Now what I need to do is the uh, P bar, uh, the, the upper and lower control limit, they should stay constant uh, throughout. And because I need to plot lines, and it's easier to plot uh, horizontal lines on a scatter chart or line chart, just by repeating the value, I'm going to just say this equal to this value and just... Uh, Again here, same thing, equal, equal, and equal. And then I'm going to copy those values down there, right? So basically every time I just take the value that was calculated above, and so all those values will actually be equal to this initial value. Oops, not what I wanted, this, right? So basically here we have identical values. There is some redundancy here, but thanks to this I will be able to plot uh, horizontal lines in addition to the proportion of defects. So now um, I can, for example, select this range and uh, insert a scatter chart. So to insert the scatter chart, I'm going to go to insert. And let me actually select a larger range with a few more rows here so that I can easy, I, it will be easier for me to add new points later on. And I will say insert and scatter chart. Notice the first column is taken as the horizontal uh, values, uh, values for the horizontal axis, which is day. And then the remaining ones are plot, but uh, because some of them are not necessary, I will not need the number of defects. I'm just going to delete it. And then you see I also don't need sigma hat, which is this line. I'm just going to delete it. And you see now I need, I have all the values that I need, uh, right? This is the P, P, or I can actually put the legend here. This is P chart, right? We see here the P value in this case, this is the gray, the, sorry, P bar, the central tendency. We see the upper control limit. We see the lower control limit, which is at zero, 
I'm not sure if I can click on it. Uh, right, the, the, the zero is on the lower control limit, we, uh, and we see the p-values, which are something that we want to control, right? So the p-values show us now that the process seems to be in control, the uh, lower and upper control limits, if they are here, these percentage of defects or proportion of defects is within the control limits. And of course, the again, the point of creating this chart is to have it updated, uh, you know, in the following days. So perhaps I'm going to extend it uh, for, for some additional days, right? And the, the values of the average uh, upper control limits and lower control limits, they stay the same. So the values should be the same here. And uh, now suppose on day uh, 11, I count the number of defects and it's four. And you see there will be a new point added here. Let me actually change the, the here at the markers, uh, not the line, but markers, marker options, put the squares and close this. And you see now I have squares. So now I just added a new point for day 11. I put the number of defects, the average, sorry, the, the, the percentage defects was calculated. Actually, Excel automatically entered the formula, right? And I see there's a new point here, right? Maybe on day 12, there is one defect, and again, a new point is added here now for day 12. But suppose on day 13, I see nine defects, and of course, nine defects means proportion is 0 0.009, and that's above my blue line, blue line, which is the upper control limit, and that indicates that there seems to be a problem with the process, because under normal circumstances, if there are only common cause variations, we should expect no more than this many, right? The, the, the proportion of defects should not be higher than 0 0.00664 according to, uh, to this, uh, right? So within three standard deviations, we should be no higher than this value. And that means there, is, uh, there's, there must be something wrong. Very likely, we should investigate, find an assignable cause and fix whatever the problem uh, that caused this uh, increase. Um, fix that problem and avoid hopefully quality problems with that uh, approach.